The All Devices view provides a global view of device status at the system, SO, customer, or site level. The All Devices view groups devices by customer and site. If the computer icon is green, then remote control is enabled. Tools options appear on the drop down menu next to device name and network address. The status column indicates one of seven device states. Click on the icon for details. See the documentation link to view the different status icon meanings. Scroll right to view device class and agent version. If the computer icon is blue, the user is logged in. Blue icons in the features column indicate if a license or feature is enabled for a device. If the pro icon shows blue, it means that device is using a professional license. Otherwise, it is using an essential license. Hovering over the integrations icon shows which integration solutions are enabled on the device. Check the box in front of any device to activate the global configuration buttons. Edit or delete devices, add services, reassign devices, update software, and add notes simply by clicking a button. Apply configuration settings to multiple devices by checking them and clicking the relevant button. Click the arrow on the Tasks button to open the drop-down menu and select a task for the selected device. Click on the device name or status icon to view individual device details. Expand the device details view by clicking the arrow next to device details, or click the arrow next to the device name to eliminate device details and usage graphs. The summary provides an at-a-glance view of device specifications. The Overview tab appears by default. It reveals active issues, system information, running processes, patches, and Windows services widgets. Manage the device further through device tabs. Each tab reveals additional tasks, functions, or options. Click Cancel to return to the All Devices view.